We're gonna we're gonna do boxes first, just for variety. Backwards day. Backwards day. I have a box to do yet too to send out. I just gotta do that. It's not going on that. It's heavy. It's not going on that. It's wicked heavy. It's from Laura. Laura, here on. Yeah. Our friend Laura. Uh huh. Maybe heavy. It, it doesn't is. even slide around too easy. Oh, there we go. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Look at that. Holy smokes. Holy smoke. How many? Let's just, how many are in there, Bob? There's 16, and they're two pounds each. There's 32. 30, so you couldn't pick up 32 pounds? <laughs> no, no, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Let's train a boob. Okay. That's a slide over there. Yes. All right, and here is box number two. Come on, Scooty. Let's go. Hey, keep off. Get out of the way. Thank you. Is this Laura here on also? It is. It is. Get out of the way. I wonder these dogs are getting fat. We keep feeding them. Get your nose out of there. You're going to get it sliced, buddy. Was well, she stuck out there now? She, uh, that dog did not get up the stairs the other day. Oh, we got another one. That a good boy. <laughs> Glad you're helping, Mark. One, two, three, four. Four. Good girl. Yay! Hey, Larky. Four, up. eight. Back. I have eleven. Um, Lynn, can you have the body? Sorry. Hey, you go ahead. That's a boy. Yeah. Always, we're very happy about that. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's where it went. She wants to go lie down there. Right. Karen's hey. going to come around and get him. Okay. Loggy? Can you get him off of there? Oh. <laughs> he Double goes bum. for a box of cookies, I will. Well, come here. We got... Come here, Loggy. Come over here. Come, come on. Uh, Loggy, hey. Okay, Oh, the mail. Okay. You can continue boxes or boxes are in pause? Oh, I don't know. I got this in front of me now. Is, is this, you gave me this thing? Is I'm supposed to do that? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, we do that. Okay, this is from Whipple. Whipple in Plainville, Connecticut. Did you know I missed a name yesterday? I mean, last was it yesterday? Annie Awesome or something? It was one of those funny names that I didn't I didn't get it. Okay, now what have we here? Oh, right, we got a bubble. I said so. Read first, okay? The masks are for you. Everyone's vaccined in here. You're okay. I get them from bow ties in Vermont. Blue one for calculations. <laughs> I know you love math. The purple is because you like purple, mm -hmm. and they have a chin strap that holds them tight. Bottom of the box. Cards for Linda. Cards for Linda. Yay! Looks like they did not put in the extra card, so there's one extra envelope. I see. Yeah. Samples of goodies from the dollar store for all. Pooh pickers. Wish for happy Mother's Day. Love to the puppies. The one with two spots white on the hips. Oh. 
Good wishes for a great year. Arlene Whipple. Calendar box, mm -hmm. I hope. Ooh. Oh, just a calendar box? It could be. Oh, it's a little small. No? Okay. Very nice. Sir. Okay. I got a bubble. Mm -hmm. Russell Stover! Mm -hmm. Oh! Kit <laughs> Kat. Nice Kit Kat minis. Oh. They're high, though. And Russell Stover. Those aren't too bad either. Mm. They're not too bad either. And more unwrapped Kit Kat. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's Linda's pile. I'll put that over there. Ugh. Well, that's terrific. Okay, I'll hide those Kit Kats. Where would you like them? I need to know whether that's a calendar box. Um, let me see. No. I, I, it's small, right? Um, I, I still need a box. I have a, a box I know behind. You need to make one for me. I know. I've got a box. All right. I'll give you tomorrow. There you go. Um, one, two, mm. okay. um, oh, my oranges. We'll just open those. We'll just open one. I ordered these, I think, didn't I? I get so confused trying to order oranges, but I'm out of oranges again. Actually, I think I have one orange in there. I hate these straps. I hate these straps because you can't stuff them in the trash. Right. See, like that, it's tough. Mm. Oh, those are the grapefruits. Haha, uh -huh. uh -huh. I got four grapefruits just for good luck. And the rest are oranges. Very good. Would you like a grapefruit to go home? Yeah. I am good on I think I think that Janine's significant other is a grapefruit. No. Okay. All right, that's it for boxes. Yeah, but you can certainly get somebody. Mail mail? Huh? Mail. Oh, mail. I didn't do the mail yet. Nope. You go know, right next to so, water. Next to my bed. Um, I'm dry. dry. In okay. case people are asking, she went out and she peed and pooped. She peed and pooped? And she made it up the stairs made on it. her own. Well, see, you didn't wear her out. And I didn't wear her out. So you got to be dry. careful with old ladies. Don't you know that? Thank you. I'm dry. So all's good. Did he call you? What? No, I left a message. Okay. We're supposed to have a dog come in today. Oh, that's right. Where's she going to be? Go. No idea. Huh? No idea where she is. You don't know where we're going to put her here? Oh, I know where we're going to put her here. We were going to put her in the laundry. But, oh. Um, okay. She's not here yet. Touch with the guy, yeah. Well, these things do happen. Labor work for the man. Oh. Linda. Yeah? Um.
Okay. Here we go again. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who this is. I barely know. Here, this goes with that. That goes with that one. And we have Rita from Mountain Brook, Alabama, Birmingham. You have very accurate handwriting. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Am I right that kids are not being taught cursive writing? That yet? is correct. My daughter went to a private school in first grade and they taught her cursive. She's the only one out of my daughters who knows. And then she's my youngest one. Oh, God. Yeah, they do not teach them that. Okay, this is a donation. Thank you very much, Rita. Mountain Brook. Okay, we'll find the donation pot, which is over here. Put that in there. You like the smell of my shoes? You can have that. My shoes smell nice. Mm. Thank you. Don't and this is Vicki Sprecht, Mesa, Arizona. No. Mesa, Arizona in it. Marky, no. Is anybody check inside that thing? Just a note. And close the check for three chicken breaks. You are relentless in your work to provide these beautiful animals to those who need them. The photo of the young boy on the beach with his companion makes your case. I would think it would. That's a good picture. Either, you know, we, we have some really bright kids. Mm -hmm. That kid... Is he throwing it up or what? No, it's just... That like kid it. and Bella and then then uh, Eva. Eva, yeah. The arms on Eva look like she's a weightlifter. <laughs> I tell you. At any rate, this is from Vicky. That's very nice. Thank you. I think we got... I think that's all we have. Okay. This is something about summer. Oh, this is that... This is that stuff I wear. I don't think I need any more of it, though. Let, don't even look at it. Okay. Oh, like the sun repellent? That's the uh, sun sunblock. Yeah. People can't understand why I wear a jacket all summer. What are you doing? That's a nice dog. Yeah, he's a good boy. No, I mean built-wise. He's a tank. He's a tank. I better check to make sure these are all right. <laughs> they could be spoiled, you know. <laughs> oh, one dropped on. good. Are they bad? No, mm. not spoiled? <laughs> Maybe one that fell on the floor, but I'll eat it anyway. <laughs> mm. All right. Oh, we like a little candy. Wet your whistle. Hi. You want okay. that one? You can have that one. This 
This is a funny little thing. Hmm? May. All right, someone is reminding you of your mask, but has been corrected that you've been vaccinated, so you don't need to wear one in your whole, in your own house, which is Something true. like that. I don't realize how many people are in this house. I, I meant to put one on, but I didn't do it. Oh. We gotta keep people out of this house. Oh, that, I yes, believe that do. one. All right, great job, chaos. Yay, chaos. Hip, hip, working better today. That one in the kitchen. Has she, has she been? I do believe. Hmm? I do believe. I will, okay. I will confirm, but I do believe. It's so nice. It's Indeed. the friend that is not. Correct. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Indy Dune says, nice to see Bud with the pups. Anka Bud. <laughs> Great picture. All right. The answer would be appreciated to what? I'm not sure. I get packs of note cards and greet cards from charities all the time. Would Linda like to have them? And, oh, Linda said we had a large supply right now, but thank you. Yeah, we got. I keep, I keep the cards when you all send a card, and you don't sign it, and you don't write anything on the envelope. I keep them and give them to Linda. There you go. So we have a large supply of. Mm -hmm. So BioBC says, why is a grapefruit named grapefruit? Doesn't taste like or resemble grapes at all. I don't know that one. <laughs> Do you know anything about it? Do you know? You don't know. Don't even pretend you know. No, You're that's silly. right. If I don't know, I don't know. Oh, there's another chair in there. Yeah. Wow. Cursive writing is not required in mass school systems, but some systems still teach it. Surprisingly, mass schools do not need to have a school library. And Fernanda says it's embarrassing that kids do not know how to write cursive. It's true though, they do not teach them. I'm New Hampshire and they do not teach cursive handwriting. Well, then you better teach them. Well, they're all grown and out of the house. I don't want them back. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Right, do your own laundry. <laughs> no, they do that too. <laughs> um, she thinks that the paper Linda gave Carlene fell in the trash. Janet thinks so. The paper? A paper from Linda. Linda, hand you a paper. Oh, I know. Yes, it did. Yes, I was supposed to hold that up. Oh, yes. It did fall in the trash. Right. God, I tell you, these people have to keep up. You're supposed to hold it up in the. All right. Um, did Vicky's card? No, you. <laughs> Grab go me. into the chicken brick department. No, Vicky's card did not go. Who? Vicky's card is right here. I will hold that one up too. Did she want chicken brick? No, this was the card. I just wanted to hold it up. Did it say she wanted a chicken brick? Um, have the chicken bricks been sold out? That was a donation, wasn't it? Ah, there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice simple job like that. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have anything complicated to do. <laughs> uh, let me see. Have the chicken bricks been sold out or close close to selling out? No, the purple the purple thing is still up. Okay. I don't think the purple sold out. If the purple sold out, that'll be a new record. The, the the payroll part, the, the, the original 2100 is sold out. Yeah. That's the payroll department. And then we have the purple on top of that. All right. Besides Anna, which one of the puppies is a girl? That would be... The girl one. <laughs> uh, Anna the one without and, the penis? And Sandy. Sandy's the other one. All right. And Denise said she just graduated from college. So I'm going to hold this up. And oh. it says, 
Academy with an honorary associate arts degree. Well done. Congratulations, Denise. Oh, nobody wants to sing. It's the wrong time. I used to sing with them every morning. I heard. I heard that. All right. So Indy Dune says, hi, Carlene and Lynn. How was your Saturday? Was it easier to set up for the shatting today because you had more help today? Absolutely. I re um, got some volunteers to give us a hand. What? Get out of here. And all the numbers are on, ready to go. And we're very careful not to let any of the dogs touch them d during feeding tonight. So that is up and ready to go. Wonderful. Okay. Bentley is growling at Larky. Yep. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah, he does that occasionally. Um, He's just telling Larky who's more boss. More than occasionally. It's when he walks by. It's just, do you remember who's boss yep, around here? It's, yeah, it's just He's the pecking, pecking a good order. Boy. Are you a good boy? Um, Are you a good boy? Are you very pity? Pity dog. Oh, pity. so BioBC says often kids are unable to read an analog clock. I had a very difficult time in school learning how to tell time off of a regular clock. Really? Very difficult time. Yep. Because everything in my household at the time was digital. Yep. Unbelievable. And even watches were digital. Wow. So I had such a struggle. I had the paper plate with the hands and Oh, I was quizzed by my my mom, and oh yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, that's that is true. All right, she says also or tie their shoelaces, um, and they don't recognize coins because they're used to swiping plastic. Yeah. Oh, I, I could see oh, that. Oh, just, just, just try and get them make change. Yeah, yeah. Go. Cool. A lot of the kids are now in supermarkets and at the registers. Right. Yeah. I thought McDonald's had a deal where you could just slide your coins into the oh. into the charity bin right beneath the. Yeah. They stopped that. That was too bad because yeah. the, the the coins just collect. The coins just collect. Just collect. I just emptied mine into there. I have a huge one at home. I have one a glass one of those. At oh, home. oh, and you're keeping it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm after the pocket change. People just put it in that thing. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. We have... We, yeah, but you keep it for you. Yes, I am keeping it. <laughs> yep. Now, I'm looking have, for donations. I have quarters in one container, oh. I have dimes in another, and then the rest goes in my glass one. Yeah. Well, if you left it mixed up, a generic cup of coins is 20 bucks. Oh. If you sort it, pennies, a gallon of pennies is $60. Pretty damn close. I had heard that if you put a two a two liter bottle and fill it with dimes, that you could actually almost go on vacation with it. Could I don't, be. Don't Their know dimes are small. Yeah. Well, I only have like them. <laughs> <laughs> Been collecting for a year. Cause we don't use cash. No. You know, we we just don't use that much cash. Okay. Carlene, are you aware that grapefruits can interact with many med medications? I know. I do know that. Hmm. I don't know why. All right. Uh, let me see. It's interesting that kids with special needs are often taught cursive for hand-eye coordination and to help their fine motor skills. Huh. I did not know that. A lot of congratulations to Denise. Um, oh, I have a surprise for everybody tomorrow after what is after that? chicken bricks. Yeah, I think. Oh, I think I am organized to send everybody an email after we find out the winners tomorrow. Oh. It's a present for everybody. Ooh, that would be very nice. If it doesn't work, you'll hear a lot of cursing and swearing, and that'll be that. But I think I'm all set to and go. That'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've divided up. I've divided up. There were 259 different people 
that bought bricks. And I brought, bought it into four, four lumps because AOL has to be less than 100. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I've got 50 unit lumps. Yeah, yeah, groups. We'll see if it goes. There you go. Um, what's for dinner tonight? I don't think I want any. What did I eat? Yeah, oh, I ate the chicken wings. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what I'll eat. I have some carrot salad in there. Did you try that? Did you try that? No, I'll try it tomorrow. It's good. You may not be any tomorrow. <laughs> carrot salad. Henry's makes it. And I drove all the way down to Henry's just to get their damn chicken uh, carrot salad yesterday. And I bought all three three things that they had of it. Oh, wow. I'll have to check it out. I haven't, I didn't try it. I it's don't even good. know what carrot salad looks like. It's shredded carrots oh. with raisins. Oh. It's very good. Hmm. That sounds healthy. It sounds healthy. So I figured that's about as far as I can go. Okay, so Dee Dee says many schools are now taking down clocks because students do not know how to tell time. Put the clock back up and tell them. <laughs> I can tell you though, when I went to school, fourth grade with Josh, when the kids had to use the restroom, they would get up, they'd go over to sign themselves out, and they wouldn't look at the big clock, they would look at the clock digital on the telephone, see the time, write the time down, and then when they came back, they had to look at the same thing, digital, and write the time down and go back to their seat. Wow. Not one child I noticed looked at the big clock. Wow. Yeah. But that would have been me too. I, I would have done the same thing. How old are you? 27, oh, eternally. I you were 26. <laughs> no, no, no. No, and then in August I'll be 27 again. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My kids are older than me. <laughs> Sounds oh. about right. Oh, so Susie says that my grandchildren are learning cursive in Pennsylvania. Um, Heather, wish me congratulations, Lynn. How many kids do you have, and how long have you been working with Danes? Ooh. I have three daughters, um, all of which are schooled, graduated, and out of the house. Uh, how long have I been- Self-supporting. Self, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's a trick. Yep. Every now and then they had snuck back in. Yeah. And usually I was on vacation or something, I'd come back and this one had already moved back in and I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> and it took me another three years to get them back out, but it, I, it's just myself and my husband now with our pets. So I, that's, that's not a bad thing. It's wonderful. Well, yeah. I don't know. My, my daughter comes back with her son's laundry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. To do it in the dog washing department. <laughs> it's college laundry. <laughs> oh, man. I remember when my kids were in college, every time we went grocery shopping, they would appear. Yeah. And then while they appeared, they brought loads, and you're know, talking loads and loads of laundry, and they would overstuff the washing machine so it just burnt out the motor quicker <sighs> because they don't, they don't make washing machines like yeah. the old days, you know? No, they certainly don't. Oh. They and don't I'm, make repairmen like they do either. No, no. Two washing machines that they said were absolutely useless, we should buy another one, which I went and did, Bud fixed for 13 bucks. Yeah. A switch. Yeah. Lousy switch. Yeah. Well, they make There's things only so one bug. complicated, you know, with all the digitalized yeah. and. Well, it was the door. The door. It was a switch. They shut the door. Unbelievable. Um. Of course, you didn't have to shut the door anymore, but that's all right. You don't for. As long as you remember to shut the door, you're all set. Right. <laughs> what would I just hear? Oh my God. Something happened somewhere where they ended up having to bulldoze the doors in because the water was filling up and people were going to drown. Oh. Where was that? This was just recently. Something happened because all the sprinklers then came on. Oh, wow. Where was that? That was on the news. Huh. Wow. There was some nurse. There. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it'll all of a sudden come to you. Somebody will remember. Somebody, no, somebody will remember. Somebody will remember. Somebody yeah. will have heard it. Yeah. So Gammy from Connecticut asks, how is meat 
meet Chipper Steve and will he be coming back to SDP? I talked to him a while ago. He's, he's got one and a half feet or something. <laughs> he's had surgery on his feet or legs. Yeah, or... I had heard something about a foot. But I think, I think Linda actually talked to him recently and she unfortunately has left so that... He, he's always bragging about what his blood sugar level is. So oh, he so must be a diabetic. diabetic. Yeah. You never had that issue, huh? What's this? Diabetes. Me? Not yet. Yeah. I'm working on it. No, no. I think at this point, if you don't have it, you won't Not get, it. get it. Yeah. Well, if I got it, I don't know it. Right. You'd know it, though. I you know. would, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're so patient with snow. Did she eat enough food today? Did you try another food? Oh, snow, snow, snow. Snow's not eating? She eats very slow. She's just so distracted and just. She started in the middle of breakfast this morning playing ball. So, you know, we just let her. You, you want to play ball, play ball. So she picked up the ball and was just playing by herself with it. And then when she was done, I brought her back in her kennel and she finished her food and she just had the urge to play. Nothing wrong with her mouth. We've looked and checked. Nothing and... wrong with her. She is the same weight as Gabby, 109 pounds. There's nothing wrong with that dog. No. She just doesn't want to eat Goofy. sometimes. Yeah. Oh well. So I hand fed her the other day. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know how long I was in that arena, but she ate out of my hands her entire meal. Well, you you want to try something? Go in and, and just put a little shot of whipped cream in a dish. Mm. You will get attention like you've never had. I, I was here the other day <laughs> when you did that. Everybody boom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Talk about spoiling the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any farmer's markets around your area? Oh, yeah. Yeah? One right down the street. Oh. The guy with the corn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Marini. Marini. Yep. And Graham, two boys, says, I love carrot and raisin salad. That's good. Yeah. Shaved carrots. Well, Jerry says, nope. <laughs> huh? Jerry says, nope. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, you may not have tried. I'm not, I'm not one that would ordinary. I wouldn't like the sound of it either, but it's good. Oh, well, here you go. You'd like this. Old school raisin, carrot and raisin salad with Miracle Whip, not mayonnaise. My Midwestern mom made it that way. That's, that's not a bad way to do it either. This one doesn't seem to have much fluid involved in it. Uh-huh. Uh, Lynn, Jack Benny, oh was always 39. Oh, Jack Benny. I remember Jack Benny. Do you remember him? Oh my God. <laughs> we was... had to, the Sunday night, we had to sit down. We had a Sunday night supper and then we had to listen to Jack Benny. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Uh, Joanne says, we caught, we taught cursive and my grandkids are learning plus the analog clocks in Utah. I only wrote cursive on the board and they had to read it. I. If they asked the time, I'd point to the clock. This was three years ago. I retired. Good for you. Good for you. Carlene, I read the DD today, and I teaching marching band, and I can confirm we were told not to march in step over several bridges in parades because of creating swaying motion. Yes. I read your DD. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was great gal. It's one of those idiot things that, you know, you don't think about yeah. But when I saw those people in, in Israel jumping up and down in the bleachers, I thought, oh, my God. It yeah. must have been the bleachers that collapsed. Yeah. It was not, but um, it's the swaying. Yeah. These people were just jumping up and down. Huh. So Cass, uh, Sassy Bell of Connecticut says, one of the funniest videos I've seen here is of teenage boys trying to figure out how to use a rotary phone. Have you seen that video? <laughs> It is hysterical, and I can relate. My, my youngest daughter, she saw an old-fashioned phone, and she was like, what is that? And we're trying to explain to her, okay, you pick up the, the, you know, the old, old ones, yeah. and the finger in the... Yeah. Oh, she, oh, she was a mess. Speaking of funny, Linda... She, I think she left. Did she leave? Yeah. There was a funny cat video last night. I, I probably still have it on my machine. The cat having a little wine. Oh, have you, have you seen no, it? No, I have not. Just a little bit. 
and then it tries to get up the stairs. Oh. And it is hysterical. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Very carefully dipping in the pool and licking it off. Somebody's in there. Who's in there? Bud. Oh. Bud in that. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Did you hear about the problem with buying new cars due to the lack of digital parts? I did not hear about did you that. Hear about the problems with buying new cars due to the lack of digital parts. I, I don't know. know. Yeah. That's the problem with digital parts. All right. Uh, Snow who ate her whole dinner tonight. No problem. Good for Snow. Oh, she really had fun this morning in the arena. <laughs> she was such a such a ham. Uh, is Snow going to be a working dog? Well, we are training her to be a service dog. She's actually going to go out with Haley for the entire day on Monday. She is lacking confidence big time. Really? So I said, Haley, you're taking Snow the <laughs> entire day. Everywhere you go, she's going with you. You go to the bathroom, she's going with you. <laughs> I don't care. I said, and then I want to report back. Yeah. Did that build her confidence? Um Sometimes I have just sat yeah. with my funny little wheelchair thing someplace mm -hmm. till they finally get bored and then they have confidence. Mm -hmm. So that's another way out. Yeah, well, uh, I haven't, we haven't given up on Snowy. <laughs> Not at all. She's just su such a sweet, sweet girl. Um, has she seen an intestinal specialist? No, she's just a slow eater. From that litter, we actually had a few. Nala was another one that was a very slow eater. Um, no, she doesn't have anything wrong with her. She's just They're all related to sizzle? Slow. Sizzle doesn't eat very fast either. You know, I'm finding a lot of the females don't eat fast. Bianca doesn't eat slow, but she doesn't eat fast like a boy. Yeah. The boys just, you know, and she just takes her time and eats. Gabby takes her time and eats, yeah. you know. Enjoys They're, every mouthful. Exactly. That's because I give him such good food. Oh, I think Snow is happily on her own little world. She's like um, Kathy B's Irish setter. She didn't want anyone to see her eat. Well, she's a delicate flower. That's for sure. Let me see, Diane says, I don't have birthdays anymore. I have naming day. <laughs> there you go. We used to show Tacoma Narrow. Oh, there's Bridge the phone video. thing. Oh, have you seen this? No, I have not. Would you like to watch Certainly. this? Has it got sound? Oh, uh, yeah. Where's sound off? Where's our sound? Uh, it's up top. No, no, the, no, the, the, the bar. One of these things. One of these. One of those things. Oh, uh, that one. When you started that, I thought you were going to say the the two boys putting together Dolores. Oh. <laughs> With the arms and the legs. Okay, so I'll give you a hint. Your zero is correct. Every other way you're doing it is incorrect. successfully dialed zero. No. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, we better go on. This is going to go on for a while. That's funny. Alright, so let me back down again. Okay. Um, oh, the dressing that was used in some 
carrot raisin salads is maple syrup with a spoon of yellow mustard oh, wow. and apple cider mix. Them together in your taste and mix with the shaved carrots and seedless raisins. I don't know what this got in it, but it's very good. I don't, I don't detect maple syrup, but there could be something in there. And it appears Jerry is not a fan of it. He says it's just getting worse. Um, let me see. Ladies, have you mentioned, the ladies you mentioned are Walter's Pops or Grand Pops. Sizzle and Gabby are Walter's Pops. The others are Grand Pops. Okay. Um, my colleague Graves uh, grabs a bite and walks around the table. It's so funny. <laughs> it, I know kids who do that. Okay. That's it. That's all that we have for comments. And yes, thank you for the video. That definitely was the video that I was... I was talking about. Oh, watch that. Yeah, it is funny. Very good. Okay, you all set? I'm all set. Let's get you your carrot and raisin salad for yep. dinner. And thank you, everybody. You better put the carrot chocolate someplace else, too. I will put the chocolates where you will be able to find them. They'll be in the fridge. How's that sound? There you go. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.